Okay, Yu-Gi-Oh! 25th quarter century. So, take a little tour around the uh, tin. Looks pretty cool. This game always looks to me like it's for like, uh, you know, like teenage boys, <laughs> which I'm sure it is. I'm sure that's their primary market, or at least was, and then those people grew up and now they, uh, you know, still have an interest in it. I'm, I'm just taking a peek at it as a collector and, you know, someone who's interested in various TCGs. Uh, can see what this is all about. Very cool tin. I like it. So I guess this is, uh, let's see. Has three packs, I believe. And I think, yeah, they're 18 card mega packs. Mega packs, that's a lot of cards in one pack. Um, each mega pack is chock full of cards from the booster set, Battle of Chaos, Dimension Force, Power of the Elements, Darkwing Blast, Tactical Masters, and the Grand Creators. Plus additional cards in Prismatic, Secret, Rare, Ultra Rare, Super Rare, Rare, and Common Rarities. As a special bonus, you'll get one of the monsters seen on the sides of the tin as an anniversary exclusive quarter century secret rare. Cool, so you'll get one of these guys. Hopefully it's that one, that thing looks gnarly. And this is a really good looking tin. It's actually kind of foiled. So anyway, let's see. Yeah, it's got a nice little subtle foiling to it. Very splashy. Oh, cool, okay. So we didn't get that one with the weird mouth, but this is number 39 Utopia. Let me take it out of this thing so it's not so uh, glared. There we go. I have no idea, like, you know, who the hits are in this, in this game. Uh, so unfortunately I don't have much info about that, but what the heck is going on? Are we gonna get in focus? There we go. Wow, this thing looks crazy on camera. It's like a mess. Okay. Very obnoxious, gross looking foil. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> okay. Well, huh. All right, well, there it is. So it's a warrior. 2,500 attack, 2,000 defend. Okay. There it is. All right. Three packs. Mega packs. Not just any packs. These are mega packs. All right. Yeah, they definitely feel like they have a little extra going on. I'm not going to know offhand if anything is real solid and playable, but uh, yeah, Ice Jade Erosion, um, Rarities, let's see here, if I can remember, I was playing uh, Yu-Gi-Oh for a short time and then, uh, I don't know, I just kind of um, didn't like how obsessed it was with casting, I felt like 80% of the game was just casting. And um, it's not like the biggest aspect of a TCG for me. It's kind of actually one of the lesser aspects. Donner Dagger, Fur Hire. Okay. And some kind of foiling here. Silent Wolf Kalupo. Okay. Wow, that looks neat. Overfusion. Damn. That looks pretty cool. Man, I forgot how to read the rarities on these. What the heck? Uh, huh. Okay, I, I don't know, I can't remember. Yoshiro of the Aqua. Very nice looking card. 700 attack, 2000 defend. Here's that crazy foiling. This one looks better though. It's not just like puked all over the card. And Yu-Gi-Oh is has the tiniest print, tiniest little font squeezed in there. Wow, that one is real pukish. It's just kind of like, blah, what the hell? It looks like a cool demon or whatever, but um, runic fountain, hard to see what's going on. Some more obnoxious art. Down the 
for your show. That thing. I can't believe I can't remember how to check the rarities on these. Crazy. Draco back, the rideable dragon. Right on. Scareclaw Astra. Alright. Kind of little witchy girl. And zombie reborn. That's a zombie? Holy crap, they totally ripped off Ugin. Isn't that who that is? <laughs> that looks like Ugin. All right. And if you're not familiar with this TCG, um, you may notice that the cards are kind of, th not thin, but narrow. They're more narrow than uh, um, cards like these. So see? So behind that is a magic card. And you can see that there's material on both sides. They're more narrow and they're actually a little bit shorter by just a little bit, maybe a few millimeters, I don't know. But anyway, Double Dust, yeah, Underworld Ritual, Gem Knight, what the hell? Melfi Wally, Black Shadow Squall, whatever that thing is, okay. Mitsu the Insect Ninja, that's a cool name. Insect Ninja, there's a splashy card. See, those foilings look cool, I like this. I don't like whatever that other mess is. Well, the Runic Golden Droplet, that looks pretty cool too. Yeah, I like that style. Uh, I really like this treatment, it's all kind of dark and creepy looking. Yeah, that's a cool vibe, I like that. Exos, Exo Sister cast or something or other. She got a 2300 attack, that was pretty brutal. Yeah, this, I don't know what that's about. This one's a little more reserved, it's not as bad, but anyway, Blazing Cartesia, the Virtuous. Nothing crazy, 1500, 1500, maybe it has a really cool effect. Wow, Red Eyes Zombie Dragon Lord, holy crap. 2800, 2400. That's powerful. It's just so hard to see what it is, like with all that sparkly action going on. Scare Claw, Decline. Uh, Amazonas Silver Sword Master. Jeez. It's a lot to read, man. Labyrinth Archfiend. 2000, 2800 Big Time Defender. Terrors of the Overroot. And Runic Smiting Storm. Pretty cool. Neat. All right. Last pack. Yeah, I think this is a worthwhile ten. I don't. I don't know the cards I'm pulling here, but I mean, they look pretty decent, as far as I can tell. Anyway, it's just three packs, but you know. Get some cool stuff. Let I me mean, look at this thing. Hell of a cost. I got a casting cost, but almost 3,000 attack, 2,500 defend. Breath of Resurrection Trap. Got a spell. The Secret Farts. Cannon Ninja. Okay. Cost four. Branded Regained. Little spell card here. Aries. That looks kind of cool. I don't know. Hey, I like that, that foiling. Oh, that looks neat. Pit Knight early. Early. Okay. Link 2. It's one of those complicated casting type things. I don't know. Bristol Magamut. See, there's that weird ass foiling. It's like very obnoxious. This one's a little better. I don't know. I think it would have been nicer they could have subdued it a little bit. Blue Eyes Jet Dragon, that's what that one is. Wow, 3,000 attack and zero defend. Okay, I definitely don't want that one face down. Starlet Papillon. Okay, that guy again, I think we hit that already. DDD, -D -D, Rebel Ling, Rebel King, Leonidas. Okay, 2,600, 1,200. Receptor and Ninjutsu Art Tool. Iron Digger. Cool. Anyway, I don't know. 
hope you got a kick out of that. Thank you for watching. I'll see you nerds later.